Hey everyone! Okay, so today I'm doing my January favorites. A little bit late, it's okay. Anyway, I have a lot of favorites, so here we go. First one is a huge one. It's the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer. It's a primer. I put it all over my face after moisturizer and before concealer or foundation or whatever I'm wearing that day. Oh my gosh, I love this stuff. This is the best primer I've ever, ever used. I thought I was in love with the NARS Pro Prime. I thought I was in love with the Makeup Forever HD Primer. I think those are the only other two primers I thought I was really in love with. And then I tried this one. My sister had it over the holidays and I used some of hers and then I went and got my own sample from Sephora and then I bought this and I love it. I really, really love it. I do have um, fine lines on my wrinkle, or <laughs> I have fine lines on my wrinkles. I have fine lines across my forehead because I'm always going like this, like a crazy woman. And then I have fine lines like on this side right over here for a multitude of reasons. But I really hate whenever foundation or powders or whatever kind of settles and it makes those fine lines look like I don't know, it makes them look worse, you know, but I still want to wear makeup. So this seems to help quite a lot. Like, yeah, it's not 100% foolproof, but it helps and it helps keep my makeup on, which I love, which most primers do. But I don't know. I'm really into this one. It's pretty pricey, but I'd say try a sample if you really feel like you need a primer that does a lot. And I don't know. I think it's got like really, here's the box. I think it has like great ingredients or something. So it's a mineral primer, SPF 15, oil free, and paraben free, fragrance free, nanoparticle free, gluten free, synthetic dye free, sulfate free, patholate, patholate, I don't know, free. It's vegan and water resistant. So it's got a lot going on. Um, if that sounds good to you, look it up, Google it, see some more stuff about it. It is pretty pricey though. It was worth it to me though, honestly. Okay, next up is the Beauty Blender. Um, one of them is really dirty because I've been using this one and I don't know, it came with two. I got these for Christmas from one of my sisters and I've heard about the Beauty Blender forever and ever and ever and even longer than that and I was just always like, oh, sponge, that's gross, no. And I don't know, but everyone in the world says they're so great and for some reason I just never went for it. But she bought it for me because I pointed them out to her in a Dwayne Reed over Thanksgiving break. I love them. I love them so much. Seriously, I haven't used a brush for my foundation since I got them. So I probably should go back and try brushes again and try to compare the difference, but I'm really in love with these things. I love it. I don't even really have to set. This is weird, I don't know why, but like I use so much less product and I do set some of my makeup with powder, but I, for the most part, I really don't have to, except for the parts where I conceal because, and I don't know why it's like that, but it just is. I love these things so much. And I know there's like a Sonia Kashuk one. I know there's a new Soho something and like a newer drugstore brand that has one. And um, you can get cheaper ones because the Beauty Blender is a little bit more pricey, but I got it as a gift, so I'm not complaining. Shout out to Mary. This is one that I have actually loved for a long time, but I don't know if I've talked to you about it. I think I have. I know I've used it in tutorials. Okay, this is the Physician's Formula Eye Booster, and it's an eyeliner. And the reason why I like it so much is the tip. It is kind of a brush tip, but it's so fine. It's not super opaque, so that's kind of iffy, and it's supposed to have some kind of like lash boosting serum in it. I don't know if that's true, but if you struggle with getting a really thin line, especially for me, when I need a really thin line is the inside. I always use liquid liner, and this part in here has to be really, really thin for me because otherwise it'll take up my whole eyelid or like where that shows, and I don't like that look. So I have to really concentrate on getting that part thin. Other than that, I really like the Maybelline Line Stiletto. You should know that. I, I don't know, maybe you do, maybe you don't. Another thing I've really been in love with are these NYC Lip and Large Lip Plumpers, and they're just glosses. I don't know why I bought three. I didn't buy them all at once. I have a problem. Um, they are under $5, definitely, but I have Toffee Kiss, Strawberry Mousse, and Peach Parfait. The first one, none of them are very opaque, so they're all kind of the same. They just have like ever so slight 
bit of color um, but they are a lip plumper and so they tingle just a little bit and I don't know I really like them they're cheap all right moving on another favorite that I just rediscovered because I had this I've had this for a really long time but it's the got to be powderful volumizing styling powder I believe I got it at Ulta or maybe Walmart I don't know it's not expensive it's a volumizing powder I hope you know what that is you can just uh, dust it into your hand or shake it into your hand just a little bit don't go crazy this stuff like a little bit goes a long way it kind of looks like a pepper shaker on the top and it's a white powder but it goes completely clear I promise you you can rub it in your hands and uh, volumize your roots or you can tap it straight into your hair which is dangerous let me tell you because it gives your hair the craziest feeling if you're the kind of person that finds that it's way easier for you to style your hair like the second day after a shower or something this stuff will give you like instant like a dirty hold it's clean and it doesn't like smell bad or anything but like Oh, it gives you this weird texture and like I like to use it like I'll put some in a lot of times I just put it in my hand and go like that and then I tease and it makes the tease hold a little bit better I've been going for a little bit more tame look on the whole teasing thing but I do still tease and I love the volume that this gives this is the only volumizing powder I've ever tried um, so I definitely want to try other ones. Tell me down below if there are other styling powders that I really need to try because I see them all the time but I feel like oh well, I already have this one. I don't know. Let me know. You're not going to like the way your hair feels. Like it's not like oh boyfriend come run your fingers through my hair. No. <laughs> so if you can't stand that idea don't go for this. But I can deal with it because I like the volume factor. Beauty is pain. And this is my last favorite and then I'm gonna get into a couple of regrets. This is Lush's Karma Cream. It's a body lotion and I love the fragrance. I had the sampler pack of the fragrances and I fell in love with Karma. I also fell in love with Lust, but I love this. Um, maybe I'll get the fragrance, but I've been buying too many fragrances so I'm not gonna let myself yet. Um, I love this as just a daily moisturizer though. I'm so all about moisturizers and stuff and so I was really happy to get this. I like the way it feels and I love the way it smells. Let's get into some regrets. All right, here's one thing that I got just like last week. I had a coupon that gave me $5 off a couple of the different Venus razors and I was using a Chic Quattro, I believe, and I liked that but I felt like it was getting a little bit old and so I was like okay why not we're gonna get this and it's I've never had one that was like this with the uh, the bars of whatever on the top and the bottom and honestly it's only got three blades and that's probably the problem but I feel like like yeah they are flexible and they do get out of the way but it doesn't give me as good of a shave as the shit quattro and that one was a little bit less fussy looking this one looks really bleh. Creeps me out. I don't like this. Maybe maybe I'll be able to get like the regular Venus heads and put this on there. I don't know um, because I used to have a Venus and I like that, but we'll see. Another thing in my regrets is the Garnier uh, Skin Renew Miracle Skin Perfector BB Cream. And I got it in medium deep. Don't ask me why, but it has an SPF 15. And it's saying it's a BB cream. I think it's basically just a tinted moisturizer. I haven't had any of the like Asian or whatever. Like I've I've never tried anything that said that it was a BB cream. Actually, I've tried the Clinique one, didn't like that. But I've never gotten one like from Asia or anything. And I feel like that's where you get like the legit BB creams. This one smells so strong. It's a great smell, but I'm really, really, really wary of putting things with a strong fragrance on my face. I just feel like that's really bad for my skin. And so I have used it like on my chest and on my neck because I'm really like veiny and I try to kind of cover that up. And it does have an SPF 15, so that's nice, but I haven't used it on my face um, and I kind of regret buying it. So womp womp. All right, and the last thing that I'm gonna show you as a regret is the Revlon Photo Ready Airbrush Mousse Makeup. I got all crazy because all that new stuff was coming out at the same time in December, I believe, and I bought 
this. I bought the brightener, which I also don't like, but I don't know where it is. Um, and some of the eyeshadows, which I do like the eyeshadows. Well, and the mascara, which I'm also not crazy about. But the thing that I really, really wanted to stress that I don't like is the mousse photo ready. I had the old well, it's still there, but the Photo Ready liquid, and it's super sparkly, and I didn't like it. I think I did kind of buy it in the wrong color, but I didn't like how sparkly it was. I got this one in natural beige, and at first I thought I liked it, and then it was just too sparkly. Sorry, I don't need all over sparkles on my face. Like, ew. It just makes you look like kind of sweaty. I don't know. There are people that like the Photo Ready, and I would say if you do like Photo Ready, Try this out, why not? It's a really light consistency and you might love it. It is a really light coverage, but it wasn't for me. Okay, so my memory card just got full for the second time. I don't even know how that happened, but that's all I have time to share with you guys today. I really hope you got something out of it. Um, yeah, so if you have any comments or questions, comment down below. You can always find me on Twitter. It's at Leanne Says. I'm always there and I'm always ready to talk. And yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, everyone. Um, 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 I don't know. Okay, I'm trying out a different lighting setting, and I hope, I don't know, I hope it works. I hope it looks good, because this is a favorites video, and they're pretty important to me. Okay. I think it's making me, like, really, really deathly white. I swear, tungsten, light, auto, white, white balance, whatever, makes me look white as a ghost. I promise I'm not. I'm like a little off-white. A little off-white is what I like. That's what I write down on legal forms. Off-white. Um, no, because this one does, like, if you don't like your hair to feel, I don't know. I also fell in love with lot lust. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and almost, it gives me like a, I don't know.